Hey guys, just a little update to show you something I bodged together for my little nephew um, for Christmas. It's um, one of the little tiny matrix based things, which is basically a little AT tiny. Um, I'm using a 2313, um, and one of the little 5x7 LED matrixes soldered on the top. I made a little board to go with it. Um, and but basically it's the same thing. Um, I've custom made some new patterns and things for it. This is just spelling my nephew's name, Marco. If I press the one button, there's a sort of random dots and a sliding sideways. And there's one of the tiny matrix patterns, which is a little heartbeat, which is kind of neat. And the rainfall. And a procedural fire. And then I've made up a couple of different ones. This is just a expanding circle and a shrinking circle and a smiley face and then the individual letters. Um, I actually um, had to change quite a bit. Like the um, some of the patterns have been redone because I'm using a two three one three instead of a four three one three like the tiny matrix is using. So I'm actually limited by the memory. Um, in the device, which makes it quite fun to um, make up different patterns and uh, try and fit it inside the unit. Um, I made some optimizations to some of the things and um, just cleaned it up a bit. There wasn't really that much wrong, it was just more of space saving where I could, like um, instead of using um, procedures to generate um, a bit pattern, just use two characters and pulse between them um, rather than, you know, all the extra extra calculations or um, store, um, program storage required just for simply loading and unloading a character. So yeah, so this is a simple one. I just CNC cut the board. Um, it's a bit, I trimmed it a bit badly. It's not real great, but the board itself is fairly basic. It's just the button and power because the, um, the matrix is actually, I don't know if it'll focus, uh, it's actually soldered onto the top of the chip um, and it's just using the internal resistance of the batteries to basically handle the the drop of the power which if you look carefully sometimes if a single row of dot um, is there you'll see it's brighter than the rest um, pretty I mean I don't know how long the uh, AVR will last or how long the LEDs will last but um, just looking at it from a multimeter point of view um, uh, it's drawing less than 30 milliamps when it's got all, light, uh, all the LEDs on so the um, chip's supposed to be able to handle up to 40 milliamps anyway. And um, the internal resistance of the battery pull the voltage down quite considerably as it comes up as well. So if you put on a, a low impedance supply, um, like my bench supply, um, unless I have current limiting turned on, it does draw quite a lot of power and probably will start damaging things. But with the current limiting turned on to, say, 30 milliamps, um, it works exactly like the battery does. Um, but yeah, anyway, just a quickie to show you what I've been doing. And a little power switch here. Should turn it off. Anyway, see you guys.